Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you dynamic split in Reaper and use it to automatically slice up drum samples. So if I right click on the media item, go to item processing and go down to dynamic split items. You can see on the media item that it's now got these dark areas. These are what it's detected as silence. And these lines down here, these, I'll zoom in on that, these blue dotted lines, that's where it's going to make the slice. And before we actually cut it up, I'll go through the options in the dynamic split dialog. Now usually when we're splitting up an audio file and removing the silence, we uncheck at transients. What this does, if I zoom in and click it, you'll see it shifts the split point right to the transient of the waveform. And I actually find this is sometimes useful when you're doing drum samples because you do tend to want to get it right on the beginning of the sound. Uh, sometimes it's not too useful, but experiment with it on the sound you're slicing up. If I did it here, for instance, it shifts along and chops off part of the beginning of the sound, which I don't want. Sometimes it's good to have it on, sometimes it's not, but generally, for slicing up audio files and removing the silence, you won't use that. When gate opens, when gate closes. When we're removing silence, we need both of these checked. We have these gate options so that Reaper can work out the start and the end of each passage that's to be removed, each silent area. Reduce splits. If I check this and drag this about, you can see it adds and removes a number of splits that we've got going on in this media item. For removing silent areas, you generally won't want this turned on. The min slice length slider, we use to set the minimum length of any slices. The min silence length slider basically sets the minimum length for any section of silence that's detected. And again, it's something you need to experiment with when using this dynamic split tool, but generally I just leave it around 20 milliseconds. The constraint slice length radio buttons don't really make a difference when using this tool to remove silence. The gate threshold allows Reaper to know what silence and what sound. Setting this too low can let unwanted noise through. I usually start around minus 50, and just slide up and watch the visual feedback. The hysteresis slider is used to adjust the level at which the gate closes relative to the level at which it opens. Raising it higher towards 0 dB will create more slices. The remove silence checkbox. This is necessary if you want to remove silence. These checkboxes can be left as they are for removing silence. The leading pad option and the trailing pad option add a section of silence to the beginning and end of the split file. And you can choose the amount of silence you want by entering a number of milliseconds in these boxes. If you want splits to be exact without silence at the beginning or end, you can just set these to zero. Checking the fade pad box means that this leading pad and trailing pad will have a fade in and a fade out. Now I've gone over these options, I'm going to split this file. So I'll start by taking the hysteresis down, and I'll raise the threshold till we get approximately the number of splits we want. And if I want to make sure that's exact, I can zoom right in and check. And you can see that's missing the beginning of the waveform. So what I can do is slide the gate threshold down a bit. A tip when working with quieter sounds like this one here is to click on the media item and hold shift on your keyboard and press the up arrow, and it'll increase the size of the waveform and it can help you find the end of the sound. Once I've found the end of the audio, I raise the hysteresis slider and I watch the visual feedback until it shows the silence at the point I want. Once I've done this for one sound, I scroll along and check that all the other sounds I want are being split at the right point. You can see here that it's not capturing all of the silence and that we don't have a slice here. If I increase the hysteresis some more, you can see it creates more slices but now we lose the tail of our audio here. So to correct that, we lower the gate threshold. Now that I've done that, I can see that I'm now losing the tail on this beat. To correct that, I raise the slice length slider all the way up until the visual feedback shows me that it's having an effect. And then I can tweak the hysteresis. Once I've gone through and made sure these are splitting in the right areas, I can make this display smaller. And if I zoom out, 
and now I hit the split button and you can see the silence will be removed. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out our Facebook page www.facebook forward slash totalcomposure and our website www.totalcomposure.com.